Hey YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so today I want to talk about a topic that's been heavy on my heart. I want to know why when men cheat, their spouse feels the need to blame the female instead of blaming both of them. In most cases, it's blaming the male because they don't say tell, let the female know that they're married. And I'm under the assumption that it's this old school way of thinking that men have programmed in the women's heads. Yeah, that men have programmed in the women's heads, you know, because they the ones that created all the rules. And so apparently they, you know, act like they have no control over the things they do. And they're easily influenced like a child. And I never understood this. Like, the woman that sits up and calls the other woman. Uh, I've had people inbox me about men that I, we never even communicated before in our life. They might just be my friend on Facebook. And I don't even know these people. And at a certain age, I think it's a certain stuff you should not be doing. So why is it that women feel the need to blame the other woman? Like the shooter did it with Kurt. If she keep her legs, excuse me, close to married men. Really? Mm -mm. He don't get a pass. He just is in the wrong as she is. They don't want to hold these men accountable, and they wonder why they keep doing the same stuff over and over. Because they're not holding them accountable. There's no way in the world that you should be sitting up calling some woman about a man that made vows to you that's committed to you. That woman don't know you. She didn't marry you. She didn't make the promise to love, honor, obey, to devil us poor. He did. So, the need, the reason you feel like you need to confront her instead of him is a problem. You need to confront both of them. And I need somebody to explain that to me. Why is it the woman's fault and not the man's fault or both of their fault? Why women are quick to confront a woman about her man's infidelities? Like, he had nothing to do with it. She can't make him do anything he don't want to do. And I need somebody to explain that to me because I've never understood that. And still today, women down 50s and 60s still do the same thing. Um, it's a sad state. Or some women, they just let their man do whatever, and they figure because they're married, you know, she got a prize. Girl, no. It's not even worth it. I couldn't do it, so I can only speak for me, but, yeah. Some of these women let these men do whatever they want to do, just like that Tia Marie situation. You're not going to make me believe she didn't know that man was married and had them other girlfriends. Like the one at the gym said, she knows what's going on. She's driving our car, standing in our house. So they're not mad about it. Nobody else should be. But a lot of women is just putting up with a lot of things from these men. A lot of things from these men. And I need them to hold the men accountable. And I go running, you know, trying to jump on a woman's case about shit that they husband doing. Uh, a lot of stuff that they're allowing them to do. So tell me what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I was off today. So I just feel like uploading videos. But yeah, I, I did it right there. It's been going on a lot. It's been going on a lot. Yeah. About one of my friends I lost to... Uh, domestic abuse and she was the same way she thought the same way I'll tell this story one day but the guy that killed her he killed somebody else and when everything was coming out her only concern was she was telling people that was her boyfriend that was her boyfriend he was living with this woman and he was suspected of killing his first wife and she was like well you know he loved me, and I was telling her, I'm like, he loved him too to death. See, he killed all of them he's supposed to love, even when he married, he killed them. 
And guess what? She ended up being one of his victims. So I'll tell that story another time. But yeah, women, they, they need to, and I just had a conversation with her. Why do men tell you anything if you believe it versus if I tell you something, somebody you've been knowing the majority of your life? But you believe a random man that you never met before before you believe what I tell you. Because she done met people that work with me and everything. And I tell her, yeah, I know him. I met his wife before, this, that, third. Then the next thing you know, girl, guess what? His wife called me. And I'm like, nah, you said he ain't mad, remember? Yeah, but she was another one like that. And see what it, it landed her in the grave. But yeah, I tell that story another time. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. What you think about this subject? About women always blaming the other women for their husbands on infidelities.